now tuned into the greatest. Turn the music up in the headphones. What is up, YouTube? Mark Kicks coming at you with another video. Uh, I'm in LA, obviously, beautiful weather. But as you see by the title, it's like using Turo to buy your next car or to buy a new car, anything else. Um, I think it's dope. Turo is an app that allows you to rent other people's cars. So you can rent somebody's personal car. They can make a little money on the side, you know, to either pay for that car, to pay for something else. It is what it is. But Turo is a crazy app. I will put um, a code in the description to get you $25 off your first ride. So if you haven't used it, just download the app using the link and we all win and you can get $25 off. Some of the rides are super cheap. Some of them, you, you can literally rent somebody's like a Ventador and it'll be like a thousand a day or some shit like that. But, <laughs> but so a lot of people don't know, but I was really trying to, um, I was really looking into upgrading the Camaro. I know I said I would never get rid of the Camaro, but I really like the way Corvettes look. I really just like the feel of them, um, the presence they have. So I was really looking forward to like looking at it. But you know, if you go to a Chevy dealership, they're like, uh, bruh, you're not driving the car. Like no test drive, no nothing. You, we'll do a credit check if you want to test drive. Like, so Chevy's like really like shady about it. I don't know, cause Corvette's like they're like babies. So they think it's like a Lamborghini. So they won't let you touch it. So using Toro, I'm able to literally spend time with the car. I just rent somebody's Corvette and I'm able to just straight spend time and actually get a feel for a car, what it's like living with it, what it's like getting in it, out it, uh, driving around cities, and just the overall feel of the car. It's a lot lower than the Camaro. Um, obviously, it looks a lot like fancier, like more exotic looking than a Camaro. So it's just a cool thing to try to um, work through and see if I want to actually do the upgrade from the Camaro to the Corvette. Um, this one right here is a Stingray. Um, I would probably be looking into getting a Z06, but Stingray is obviously still a dope car. It's about the same horsepower as a Camaro, as the Camaro SS. With a few mods on a Camaro SS, you'll pretty much be at Stingray level, but obviously Stingray is a lot lighter than a Camaro. But other than that, I really like the way the car looks. I really, I really like the back end with the four exhaust pipes right there. Um, the mods for this car kind of expensive, but I can't be, I can't be that mad about it. Um, Michelin Pilot Sports on this, 285s on the back. Would like to see that a little bigger, but it is what it is. Just being able to drive it for a while will give you like, give me a really good idea of what I'm actually looking at and what this is actually about. Um, I really do like the black in this too. I really do. But yeah, we'll do some driving and we'll just see. I really like the car though. Yeah, so uh, just driving this car, it feels, I don't know, I, I'm, the presence of this car is absolutely amazing and the ride is pretty damn comfortable. I know the Z06 is a lot more firm, but for some reason like the the um, throttle feels like really stiff compared to my Camaro. Like I feel like it's easier to get on my Camaro and I can get on it faster. I, that obviously probably is because I've added the intake, the throttle body and the throttle controller. So I'm sure you could get it, get this to almost feel the same way. I don't know. I, I can't say I like driving the Stingray that much more than the Camaro. Like, honestly, I enjoy my Camaro a lot more. Um, and I'm sure once, if I got comfortable and once I got comfortable with this car, I would kind of drive them almost nearly the same because I'm so comfortable with the Camaro. I can just do whatever I want, <laughs> but yeah, this, but other than that, this car is, it feels great to drive. I do love the feeling of being this low to the ground. Um, I like the steering, the steering feels great. And 
yeah, and obviously this is just a, it's a fast car. So um, I've always been a fan of the look of Corvettes. Um, and honestly, with uh, the mid-engine coming out, I think the Z06s will go down in price. And I'm, I would be able to almost get a, a really like barely driven Z06 for in the 80s or maybe even the 70s. I don't know, I haven't even looked at prices lately, but I know the, the Stingrays go for like 45 now. So it's easy to get in the Stingray. I, I barely have to put money down for that, but it's a lot to think about. I really do like driving this car though. It feels really nice. Yeah, but so final thoughts on the car. Um, I really like it. I, I, it's a, it's a fun car, and I like the presence that it has. Obviously, as I've said before, um, you know you're in a Corvette. It's 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 super low, which it gets you gotta adjust to it. But it feels really nice. Like uh, my friend Joe, uh, was riding with me the other day, and he even said like this ride quality is insane. And we both like Camaro SSs but mine doesn't have magnetic ride control. So this dr drives so smooth, you could definitely see, I could definitely see myself dailying a car like this. But the problem is, um, I'm still more of a fan of the Camaro, honestly. And um, the dealership, I, I see a lot of these are going for like 45, 50 right now. And as my Camaro is paid off, so, I could, one dealership said I would be able to get out of the Camaro and pay, I think, what, five? They said, give us eight grand and you can walk away in the Stingray. And to be honest, it sounds good, but it's a no for me, dog. <laughs> I love this car, though. It's, it's super nice. Uh, Z0, I mean, um, ZR1 is crazy. And I even think the Z06 is amazing looking. So if I was to get a Corvette, it would definitely be a Z06. But yeah, just to recap, uh, Toro app, you're able to test a car. Say you want to buy, I don't know, say you want to live with like a Ford Raptor. You don't know like, will it fit? Like how's every day with it? How do I park it? How do I take it different places? Does it fit in everywhere I need to be? And then you would be able to test that. So you'd be able to drive, rent the car, drive it, live with it for as many days as you wanted to and you would be able to see how you like it some dealerships if you have enough if you have enough clout they will say take it for two days tell us how you want it tell us if you want to buy it so they'll let you have it but if you don't have a lot of clout then you'll take this way and like i said 25 dollars off your first ride if you are not a toro member just download the app and link in the description and everything will be good. So that $25 off will come in handy. This is my first time riding and I use $20, $25 off on this. But yeah, it's pretty dope. I hope y'all like the random golf clip too. I don't know why I keep doing that, but I really wanna start a golf channel. But yeah, these tires are bald too. Well, not crazy bald, but, but yeah. So yeah, that is the Corvette. It's I don't, pretty basic inside, honestly, seats and everything. But I like the car. Yeah, so stay tuned. When I get back to um, when I get back to my city and I get back to my car, I will be reviewing my Nitto tires that I just put on. So subscribe. Uh, let me know if you want any more Range Rover content. I don't, it's not much to do with that car, honestly. Um, but yeah, we here.